you underestimate Paige. Make me eat crow. Paige generally doesn't know what she's doing. Paige was amazing. And on the top of the pyramid, Paige. We're going to do a trio. And the trio is going to be Chloe, Maddie, and Kendall. As a dancer, I've been in this trio since I was four. I think I should be in the trio, and I think because Miss Abby's mad at Brooke and my mom that she's taking out on me. Chloe, Maddie, and Paige have had a trio since they were four years old. Undefeated. I have you. Yes, I have never lost. Never. And I just think that that's really rotten that Paige is pulled from that trio. I don't think she's replacing Paige. I well, she honestly, did. she just did. Yeah. Jill's a little Pollyanna right now. She's like, oh, this is all so great. Everybody gets a turn. Well, you know what? Not with the trio. The trio's sort of something that's untouchable. I think that Kendall is doing a great job. I don't know if Paige would have been a better choice or not, given the fact that it's a very difficult choreography count-wise. Six, seven, and eight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think Paige would have been darling as an actress, but her ability to comprehend quickly and remember is not to where Kendall's is. So Abby's running practice for the trio, and she has Paige running the music. First of all, you replaced her with Kendall, and now you have her sitting in there watching her learn the choreography and having her playing the music while they're learning it. Like, why would you do that to a 10-year-old kid? It's just wrong. There's no reason my daughter should be sitting in that room playing music. She's just doing it to hurt her. First place trophy overall goes to act number 21, my boyfriend's back. I have to admit, when the trio did not place first, I was kind of relieved. I mean, their trio with Maddie, Paige, and Chloe has always won first place everywhere. Now I can always say you should stick with what works. <laughs> I know your feet are hurting, but you need to cowboy up and you need to dance. I need to know if you can't do the steps because your feet are sore today. All right, let's do it. Yesterday I had my planner's warts removed and my feet are really sore, so I'm trying my best. Come on, bigger page. Back leg higher page. You're falling off your center. Is the foot flexed or pointed, Paige? Pointed. Really? Did the doctor say don't know dancing for? No, he said as long as she didn't have a blister, she could dance. The doctor said that unless Paige has any blistering, she can go ahead and dance. Does it hurt to point it? A little bit. OK, because your foot is just like this. She doesn't want to be replaced in the trio again. Paige is really making me nervous. She is hopping all over the place. Her foot is really bothering her. I may have no other choice but to pull the trio from the competition. You told me that you think you can do it. I'd rather pull the number now when they take a break than pull it right before it's ready to go on and have you all upset and everybody upset. I think I can do it. Paige better not be lying to me. And this better not come back to bite me in the butt. They better get out there and be the divas that I've trained them to be. Performing next, we have Abby Lee Dance. The pink, the blue, and the purple were just striking on stage. It was different than anything anybody did. I'm really proud of myself because I danced through the pain. Paige. You're going to be our title entrant. Paige will be competing directly against Kendall for the title. You will be doing tongue twister. It's your responsibility to know it. She will not have a rehearsal. She's welcome to use the studio, but she has to get in here on her own. My favorite part of Pyramid was when she said, Paige, you need to win this crown. No excuses, but no practice for you with any teachers. Do it on I your know. own. Now, I danced at Abby's years ago myself, and I may have forgotten a few steps, but I think I can handle a little re-choreographing. I changed the choreography because I just don't think that this dance is good enough to win a crown in a junior category. Point that foot. She has a great chance of beating Kendall. She is doing a completely different number. Kelly, stick to what you do best. <laughs> I'm so proud of Paige. She went against Abby, 
and did the dance that she wanted to do. And I think that takes a lot of courage. I'm anxious about these awards. Seventh place, 448 is Tongue Twister. Hey, what were you doing out there? As soon as she started, it was like the wrong pose on the tram. Like, what is she doing out there? Well, you told her to work on it herself, so we worked on it at home. Maybe her teacher should work with her more. And then we'll do the dance that you choreographed. What was wrong with the dance that I choreographed? I just think that you underestimate Paige. I think that if Paige gets some attention, she has the ability to go out there and place. Is she capable of more? Absolutely. But what I gave her was clean, and it would have clearly been Kendall. She went behind my back. How dare you? This is all Kelly's fault. I blame the parent, not the child. Don't be bad. I'm sorry. It's mommy's fault. I'm the one that made So here we are, my final open call audition in New York City, home of the Great White Way. Okay. Let's go. You ready? But the girls don't know the dance. Yeah. What, what can't you do? You can't do a torch day? No, what I'm saying right. is before you took the other girls to demonstrate, you taught them the combo. You didn't have them learn it out there with the rest of the kids. They're their demonstrators. So what do you want me to do? I want you to teach the kids before they go out there. I think it's embarrassing that you want to send your kids out not knowing it. I think it's embarrassing that they're wearing my clothes. I brought stuff to change. Would you like them to change? Take it off. You can take yours off, too. Now, right there, that is wanting those kids to look stupid by not teaching them the routine. 626, find a new dance studio, sweetheart. A really good one. What, what was the issue? That's what I would like to know. The feet and the right shoulder. From what I saw, Paige, her Alsa Combs were horrendous. No offense or anything. She she does 10 times better Alsa Combs than what Paige, you Paige can do. Paige, come on out here. Come on back, 626. Five, six, seven, and up, up, down, down, and one. Two, three. Good job, Paige! Thank you very much. You can go. Take no and go home gracefully. You're embarrassing yourself. Turn around. You know what Abby always says? She can talk about her dancers, but nobody else can. Go. See you later. <laughs> What did you say? The kid in the red red pants didn't know what they were doing? She knew. I wasn't. No, that's Paige. Paige generally doesn't know what she's doing. Anthony and Kathy are talking bad about Paige. And it's really ticking me off. I summoned Paige down off the stage. I thought that if Paige stood up to them, that he would rationally, as a grown adult, say, oh, honey, I'm sorry. I, I, I won't say anything else. I really did because you were close to the wing. It looked like you were, you know, about to hit the wing, so you, it showed on your face. And uh, 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 You're not her dance teacher, so don't give her critiques. Teacher, that's why I didn't Leave her alone. Don't worry about my daughter. She does it enough. Yeah, well, I pay her for Good. her critiquing. Good, and you should, not you. Maybe you should get a refund. All right, work. look, this is a dance competition. You either need to leave the premises or you need to act like a lady and a gentleman. I've had it. I didn't really care that he was giving me corrections because it makes me a better dancer. I just didn't like that he did it in front of a whole audience because it kind of got me embarrassed. You called her down from the stage and had her confront them. She okay. was great. Do you want your kid just to be another pretty face, Kelly? My Don't you want her to have some pretty guys? face? Every day when you scream at her, she stands up to you. I'm very proud of Paige. Broadway Blondes is a sassy, hot jazz number. It accentuates the beautiful long lines and legs on Paige and Chloe. I think you're capable of doing more things together. You need to be in sync. You need to mirror each other. I think it could be great. I don't think it's great yet. I need Paige to really pay attention to the choreography if she's going to be any match for Chloe's technique. All right. Chloe, you're dismissed, Paige. I want to talk to you for a second. Oh, God. Paige, you have it all but you don't go through A and B and C to get to D. You think you can just skip over it. I know I'm tough on Paige, but that's my job. It's Kelly's job to build her daughter up with confidence and be her cheerleader. But Kelly's not doing it, so now it's my job. If you want to be better than Chloe, and you want to be better than Maddie, and you have to work more, make me eat crow. All right. Yeah, give me a hug. See ya. 
I don't think Paige knows what eat crow means. I'll explain that to her, though, because I'd like to have I'd her like make to Abby eat the crow. I'm just happy that Paige is in the dance. <laughs> I don't care if it's competitive or, or what. I'm just happy she's going to do an extra dance on stage. I'm happy that Kendall has the trio with Chloe and Paige. However, it's bittersweet because Abby's not real fond of Chloe and Paige, and I don't want Kendall to get stuck in that rut with them. The pressure is on. This is the first competition of the new season, and every one of these girls needs to realize that I am looking for new talent. Don't be nervous, guys. We have to do this. We can do this. So they better prove to me that they want to be part of the Abby Lee Dance Company, that they want to win. Taking our overalls in preteen trio, first place belongs to, drum roll please. Buckle up with Chloe, Paige, and Kendall. I am very happy that the trio was the first place overall high score. All right, Paige, let's go. You guys sit up there in front, judge Paige. Oh, yay. Oh, they're judging? Paige got some tough criticism the last time she was on stage. Two dance teachers, grown adults, were behind me, and they started to critique her. And they weren't too kind. Today, I'm having my senior group judge and critique Paige's solo. Paige has to learn to take the criticisms without taking it personally. It's hard enough for Paige to be judged by Abby, but the senior company is Abby's best dancers, and our girls look up to them. That's intimidating for an 11-year-old. Who does tux? Alyssa? Is, is she in a proper position for back tuck? No. So people are going to sit in the audience and say that about you? Are they rude? Yes. Are they talking out of turn? Yes. Are they right? Yes. I hope now that Paige understands. People can critique you all they want. It shouldn't affect your performance and your passion to dance. Coming to the stage right now is entry number 38. Entry number 38 is in the junior solo division. Here's Paige with me. Backstage, I see Kathy and that man in the audience, so I just have to block him out and stay focused on my solo. She was amazing. She did great. I was happy that Abby gave Paige some positive feedback for once, especially since she pulled her out of the group dance this week. My solo this week is called Make Some Noise, and it's like a jazzy acrobatic routine, and I really like it. Please welcome to the floor, from Abby Lee Dance Company. Are you ready? Stand up, here come the boys with their weapons of choice. When they come through the halls, you better make some noise. Walking under the lights, walls with people all sides. Can you feel it tonight? You better make some noise. I'm watching Paige do her solo, and I'm just amazed. Paige rocked that dance. Good job. Great job given by Paige from Abby Lee. Good job, baby. You're great. You, uh, that was the best I saw you dance. Hello. How do you think you did? Good. Good. I thought you were great. I thought your energy was up. I thought you were entertaining. I thought it was good. I thought everybody danced pretty well. And our junior champion from the Abby Lee Dance Company, Paige. I'm really happy that I won because
because normally Miss Abby doesn't give me a chance to do a solo because she doesn't think I'll win. But this time, I proved her wrong. My Amy! Mommy is so proud of you. I told you you couldn't have danced any better. So I'm hoping next week at Pyramid, it'll be a little change. And on the top of the pyramid, Paige. Paige, your legs were straight, your feet were pointed, and you went out there and you won it. Congratulations. Thank you. I think everybody in the room just wanted to, like, jump up and down for Paige. <laughs> she has never been at the top of the pyramid, and she really deserves this.